spirited, alert, and athletic, yet steady and dependable. The Swedish Valhund is a true big dog with short legs. But despite their short legs, this breed is an excellent herding dog and their spunkiness and intelligence can clearly vouch for it. The word Valhund actually is Swedish for shepherd dog and the breed totally lives up to their name as a cattle drover, watchdog, and rodent controller. They are known for their zest for life, unique vocalizations, and cheerful demeanor. These guys are calm and adaptable, making them suitable to many different home environments as long as they get plenty of daily exercise. These rugged cattle dogs have also been pictured on the stamps of several countries such as Sweden, Ukraine, Russia, Mali, Tajikistan, and Nicaragua. Now without further ado, let's dive right into our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Swedish Valhund. But before we start our list, I'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Valhund owners in this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The Swedish Valhund is at least a thousand years old, dating all the way back to the age of the Vikings. At that time, the breed was known as the Viking Dog and it is believed that they descended from dogs of the Vikings, precisely a cross of Scandinavian Spitz Dogs and Welsh Corgis. Exactly when and where the breed was developed is still unknown, but what is known is that they were all-purpose farm dogs in western Sweden, used to herd cattle and other livestock, as well as perform other tasks such as keeping vermin down and barking an alarm. By 1942, however, these dogs had almost become extinct. Thanks to two breeders, K.G. Jettersten and Zorn von Rassen, the breed was saved. The pair acquired one male and three female Swedish Valhunds and then used those four to revive the breed in Sweden. The Swedish Kennel Club first recognized the breed in 1943, the United Kennel Club began registering them in 1996, and the AKC followed suit in 2007. According to the AKC, the first litter of these dogs was bred in the US by Marlon Thell of John Record Kennel in 1986. Number 2. They are related to Corgis if you are not familiar with the name Swedish Valhund, you might have probably heard of their cousins, the Corgis. Some historians believe that Corgis were taken from the Wales to Sweden in the 8th or 9th century, while others argue that the Swedish Valhund was instead taken to Wales at the same time. Either way, interbreeding after the migration resulted in these two breeds bearing a strong resemblance to each other. Both of them have long and stocky bodies. However, Swedish Valhund is less bossy than Pembroke Welsh Corgi, but less mellow than a cardigan. Number 3. Their Appearance Although built long and low to the ground, these dogs have a robust body, a long and muscular neck, heavy bones, and they pack a big punch for their size. They have a fox-like expression with pricked ears and a line of fine hair. Their muzzle is long and parallel to the top of their skull. These working dogs have a well-defined mask with lighter hair around the eyes, muzzle, and under the throat. They come with a bobtail, stop tail, or full curl tail. Their legs are powerful with short oval feet and round pads. The Swedish Valhund stands 11.5 to 13.5 inches at the shoulder and weighs 22 to 35 pounds. Number 4. They are social creatures. The Swedish Valhund is a responsive and even-tempered breed. Due to their social and friendly nature, they're quite good with children and they make sensible watchdogs. Most are fine with other animals and especially wonderful with livestock, including horses. These dogs sure know how to make you laugh and get you through any rough times you may be facing. So you definitely can count on your Swedish Valhund to keep you entertained. They're usually described as having a sense of humor and are also pretty clever at problem solving or simply finding new uses for their toys. Number 5. Their Coat Color and Grooming The Swedish Valhund has a double coat, a thick undercoat and a weather-resistant outer coat with medium-length hair. The coat comes in a sable pattern of grey to red or a combination of colors in various shades such as red-yellow, red-brown and grey-brown. They have a mask of lighter hair around the eyes, on the muzzle and under the throat, lighter shades on the chest, belly, rear end, lower legs and feet, and darker hair on the back, neck and sides. The breed stands out for their light-colored harness markings on the back. They shed their undercoat twice a year, which will make you wonder just how many dogs you have going by the snow drifts of hair. But luckily, their coat does not need any special trimming. All that is needed is to brush their coat on a regular basis with a firm bristle brush and bathe them once a month. But do keep in mind that regular bathing will remove their natural oils in the weather-resistant coat and dry out their skin. Number 6. They are active dogs The Swedish Valen is an intelligent and alert companion. They are vigorous creatures who need equally active and energetic pet parents. 
hiking, herding, obedience, agility, or chasing balls with surprising speed are enjoyable outlets for fulfilling their lively enthusiasm. To match their energy levels, provide enough exercise and mental stimulation to vent their energy and use their busy minds to do interesting things. Otherwise, they will become bored, which they usually express by barking and destructive chewing. One decent walk daily with some time playing fetch or performing a sport or other activity is likely adequate for most Swedish falcons. Puzzle games, clicker training, and participating in a sport can also contribute to their mental well-being. If you are an active person and an experienced dog owner who enjoys hiking or long walks and appreciates the dog's companionship in whatever you do, then this breed is definitely one for you to consider. Number 7. They still retain their working instincts Since the Swedish Valhund is a herding breed, it's instinctive for them to nip at fast-moving objects. That's not acceptable when they're grabbing a child's ankles as they run by, chasing a bicyclist or a kid on a skateboard. And what's more, these dogs even go after bikes and cars. You can correct this behavior with a stern no every time you see it. You can also get your Swedish Valhund involved in obedience classes at the intermediate or advanced level. Otherwise, trying to suppress their hardwired working instincts without providing alternate outlets for their energy can be difficult and is really not fair to the dog as well. They will quickly learn which types of play are acceptable and which ones are not. Because one of the responsibilities of these dogs was to drive away strange dogs from their owner's farm and flock, some Swedish Valhans even today can be pretty dominant or aggressive towards dogs and cats they don't know. Number 8. Their Trainability Swedish Valhuns are highly intelligent, just why they learn quickly and respond well to positive reinforcement techniques. They love to be challenged with new tasks, and they excel in agility trials and flyball competitions. They do, however, combine the independent judgment of a herding breed with the persistent, sometimes manipulative nature of the Spitz family. So you'll want to have the confidence to establish and consistently enforce some rules, otherwise they're most likely to make up their own. Train your Valhund for dog sports or give them a job to do around the house and you guys will get along quite fine. They can get bored quite quickly, so it's always a good idea to do frequent and short training sessions with them time and again. Number 9. They bark a lot. Swedish Falhans bark quite a bit, first because they have keen and watchful senses, and second because they used sharp barks to help control livestock in the past. This is part of the reason why they don't make an ideal pet if you have close neighbors, unless you want to hear complaints every other day. And to make matters worse, some Valhans even have intense high-pitched barks that can set your teeth on edge. The good news is that the breed's watchful nature makes them a great alarm dog. They also like to bark just to let you know they're in a good mood or to chat with you about your day. You can teach your dog to limit their number of barks or to speak only in command so that they don't let your neighbors flounce off. Number 10. Their health the breed is generally healthy, although they can fall victim to a hereditary eye disease called retinopathy. It causes degeneration of the retinal photoreceptor cells and may lead to complete vision loss. With their short legs and long back, these dogs can also be prone to back injuries if mishandled. Because their skeletal development is not yet complete, avoid letting puppies jump on and off furniture. Also, it's always better not to pick them up without supporting both their front legs and the rear end. Alright folks, that's it for our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Swedish Falhund. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these hardworking herders, then please let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Leave us a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more information on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.